For other articles concerning Proposition 2, see Proposition 2, Disambiguation, Proposition 2 was a California ballot proposition in that state's general election on November 4, 2008. Submitted to the Secretary of State as the Prevention of Farm Animal Cruelty Act, the initiative's name, as with others such as Proposition 8, was amended to officially be known as the Standards for Confining Farm Animals Initiative. The official title of the statute enacted by the proposition is the Prevention of Farm Animal Cruelty Act. The proposition adds a chapter to Division 20 of the California Health and Safety Code, sections 25,990 to 25,994, to prohibit the confinement of certain farm animals in a manner that does not allow them to turn around freely, lie down, stand up, and fully extend their limbs. The measure deals with three types of confinement, veal crates, battery cages, and so gestation crates. Having been passed by the voters on November 4, 2008, the key portion of the statute became operative on January 1, 2015. Farming operations had until that date to implement the new space requirements for their animals, and the statute now prohibits animals in California from being confined in a proscribed manner. Few veal and pig factory farm operations exist in California, so Proposition 2 mostly affects farmers who raise California's 15 million egg-laying hens. The California Secretary of State's summary from the official voter information guide of Proposition 2 is as follows, requires that calves raised for veal, egg-laying hens, and pregnant pigs be confined only in ways that allow these animals to lie down, stand up, fully extend their limbs and turn around freely. Exceptions made for transportation, rodeos, fairs, 4-H programs, lawful slaughter, research, and veterinary purposes. Provides misdemeanor penalties, including a fine not to exceed $1,000 and slash or imprisonment in jail for up to 180 days. Summary of Legislative Analyst S. Estimate of Net State and Local Government Fiscal Impact, Potential Unknown Decrease in State and Local Tax Revenues from Farm Businesses, possibly in the range of several million dollars annually. Potential minor local and state enforcement and prosecution costs, partly offset by increased fine revenue. 